Morning lovely people, stood at the uh, southern tip of the spit that was created yesterday. Uh, will be um, bulldozed right, the chunky bits there are going to be brought right and pushed out to where the chunky stuff over is there. You can see the uh, other gravel that was retained to one long spit. I'm going to break that up into probably three pieces uh, and have some of that pushed out into the lake. But as you see right down the end there, Lee's still down the bottom there, just bringing up more spoil that will come out to the left into the water here to create uh, shallows. But yeah, the, uh, the shingle bar here probably converted into about three spits of different heights. And uh, if, if that were not an uh, endorsement, we've had a ring plover over already this morning. It's taking a few moments looking up the uh, shingle bank I was filming earlier into the sun. As I said earlier, we'll be uh, chopping this up a bit. Some of it's going to go in the lake. Some of it's just going to be shortened and make a slightly uh, lower shingle island. Other bits will just make a tiny bit higher. Out to the right here, I think we'll probably make a little shorter one. We're kind of out of gravel, so the stuff ahead um, will just make channels into it and uh, push it out into the lake a little bit here and there and um, yeah just looking back at where the uh, hide's gonna be it's gonna be pretty close isn't it you know I would love to see way more mud out in the front here that will be the aims of tomorrow bringing this stuff over the right there as much as possible in front of the gravel right here so there's gonna be mud where just right out stretched out in front of the hide channels shallow water stuff that's gonna already of course just because of where it is it's gonna bring waders in and um and yeah off to the left as well so those people visiting late afternoon and early evening gonna be able to check out down to the left here it's still gonna be of course two three hundred meters away but it's not gonna be the 450 to 550 it is from ron's hide when this new hide is built um so there we go. It's a beautiful, beautiful evening. And uh, hopefully just seeing this develop has opened uh, everyone's eyes to the scale of the project, the scope and potential it brings for a fantastic new era of marsh and wetland birds that will be visiting these new works. It already started, even though uh, we haven't finished. The ring plover this morning proves it. Common sandpipers lingering now prove it. And uh, I think we're going to see those species lingering for another month yet. So we we'll take a walk. Forgive my shadow. <laughs> Can't be avoided. Back down towards the diggers. Down the existing track. I just want to show you uh, the bank that we will make all low-lying and and wet in a lot of areas. Want it to be, um, of course, very shallow in the uh, average water level. And the water level is just still a little bit below the average water level. So most of what you're looking at here, this mud, a lot of it will be uh, pushed underwater. But like I said, up nearer the hide. Here's fine. The hide's only gonna be over there. So this is perfect. Come out and, um, lots of channels. The aim, as we've always said, is that the northeast shore here has always been highly available as, or the most highly attractive area to those birds that visit. A little walk further down and uh, more channels, more, sh more low lying stuff. Um, beyond the little peninsula that uh, was let's say imposed upon us by uh, the joyous environment agency um, beyond here uh, it will get a lot lot less um, wet there's some things we found out about the site late on that have mean we've uh, we're going to have some damp and, and very semi damp even dry reed beds at the back over where the diggers are but that doesn't mean we can't um, pull out a load more stuff and um, I'll walk ahead to where we've um, 
Done a little bit of digging into the grass. This is to create a few couple of damp areas, winter damp areas. This will still grass back up in the uh, summer, next summer. And uh, over to um, a new semi-damp winter pool up on the right. Obviously, most of these pegs are going to be removed, but the uh, eastern boundary will be remarked with a proper fence and um, there'll be lots of wires for these wind chats and wheat ears and stone chats to uh, find and perch on spring and autumn so yeah here we go right up in our far northeast boundary we've taken out probably barely 10 inches of soil at its deepest point and i might still get him to skim another inch or two right off the top because this when it's regrassed over in the winter will become very shallow puddle and um, the intention here is to attract um, widgeon, lapwing, curlew, wimbrel, you name it. We're just trying to attract some uh, stuff and uh, back over to the left the diggings where the back of the reed bed will be. There's gonna be some rough grasses and stuff, but we can still skim a bit more. Out to the east shore it'll go.